Hello, hi, it's Patricia. Welcome to fall, autumn, here in the Northern Hemisphere. So today I wanted to talk to you about some of the symptoms you can feel as we change seasons. Uh, seasonal change can affect people, uh, but it doesn't have to always disrupt your life. So let me just talk about a few things to just inform you. And by the way, I have a gift that is very intuitive. And if you need help with some of this, please reach out for help. The links are below, but let's kind of get into it. So one of the first things that you'll notice is your sleep habits, sometimes known as your diurnal rhythms. This is as your body gets more accustomed to different types of foods, a different atmosphere it can be windier, it's gonna be cooler, the humidity can be different, and a different amount of light because when we're on the equinox, it's an equal light and dark day, right? But once we pass that, the nights get start getting a little longer and the days are a little bit shorter. You'll notice that it gets darker sooner, you know, like you'll wanna stay out and you'll be like, wow, it's really much darker than it was. Yeah, and it's going to keep doing that until we get to the next season, which is winter. So let's hop back to the season and not jump ahead of ourselves. What we need to do is sometimes uh, some really simple things. These are not folk remedies. These are more like just pay attention to you type of things. Get more sleep. Try to go to bed early. When you do that, you're actually hitting an internal reset button that helps you adjust to the season. Now, what if you're waking up at night? What if you're waking up at like 3 a.m.? What does this really mean? Well, it means that number one, your sleep cycle is already disrupted. Number two, there can be things happening with you which could be health issues or other lifestyle issues like such as, are you eating too late? Is your system maybe full of a little bit too much sugar and carbs? You like, do you have a snack before bedtime? Cause you swear that it helps you sleep and it's not going to help you sleep anymore because your body is trying to adjust in a different way. So you know how everyone says, well, you know, what's the new normal? That's a part of the new normal is, um, sort of this internal reset to bump you up up level you, but to bring you to a much more quality level of sleep. I know so much about it because when I went through it, I kid you not, it was like I was sleeping in shifts. And it was actually in the springtime, so, you know, equivalent change of season, but you can still have that. The other thing to know is you're a mammal. And even though we are not bears that go and hibernate, you do share some of the same characteristics with other mammals, such as what your dietary needs are. Now we're also modern humans, which means that, you know, after the long harvest, we don't just go and, you know, hang around. Um, we're still going to offices. We're still driving in traffic. We're still getting stressed. We are still having to attend to our responsibilities. So how do you balance that feeling of, I'm super tired, I really want to just curl up in a ball and go under the blankie with some pumpkin spice tea or latte or something. Yeah, I get it. Everything is pumpkin spice, almost too much. They've already ruined it even before Halloween gets here, right? But it's still a favorite. But how do you get yourself into the mode of adjusting and rolling with the seasons? Because there may be other things happening in your body. You could be having a weird headache. The headache may seem persistent. I know how to help you rid yourself of that headache. And so that when the next season happens, you're not actually feeling it again. Like you're not subjected to that intensity. Eating. Eating habits, you may feel like you want to eat and eat and you don't even know where you're going to put it all and yet somehow it's not interesting to you, you're disinterested in it. What's up with that? Um, your whole body could feel a little achy and crampy and you may say to yourself, did I just have some inflammatory foods or I barely ate anything, I, all I did was think about it. 
I know about this also and I talk about it because a lot of people go through it, but not everyone is getting the proper help. It has a lot more to do with your body's energies and the physiology, not necessarily a disease and not long COVID. Not everything is long COVID. A lot of people get worried that what if I have long COVID? Well, if you had long, if you had COVID, you're going to know that you had it. It has very distinct characteristics. However, some things are related to other things. It can feel like, you know, your head is affected, but what does it have to do with the other parts of you? Everything has to work as a system. There's a synergy moving into place for you and for everyone, really, if you'll only grab onto it and up-level yourself. I know how to get you there. And we're talking about progress. Don't try to do it perfectly. Let me help you, okay? Um, a real simple thing you can do is skip a meal. Skipping a meal will help you immensely. Doesn't have to be a full fast either. Get yourself something liquid to drink. It could be just a bottle of liquid protein shake. It could be a favorite juice. It could be a tea. It should not be coffee or some other stimulant, like a diet drink. It should not contain artificial sweeteners. Okay, something more natural, maybe just a very simple brothy soup um, without a lot of stuff in it. Not a thick soup, more like um, just a thin vegetable broth, you know, maybe a few veggies floating in there. Give your body a little bit of a break so that it's not having to process stuff. Skip one meal. Do you think you can do that? I hope that you can. So thanks so much for watching. Please check out the links below, and if you are having fatigue, low energy, I know how to help you shift this. And again, I know this because I've been through it, and I've been through it and been writing about it and talking about it since before the pandemic. And that's when I realized progress requires courage, and I'm going to get out there with my four zone healing. So healing and life, that's what it's all about. You're not here to lose this game. You're not here to be dropped on your butt. And you're not crazy. I know what you're feeling. And let's get you where you need to go. Thanks so much. Bye now.